We got a wild case for y'all today coming out of Portland. Ain't nothing good ever coming out of Portland, y'all. Portland landlord claims self-defense in fatal stabbing of two tenants. But shocker, after you peel back the layers on this one, the guy might not even be the landlord. This story is really weird. I had to read the article like three times just to get it straight. What is actually being talked about here? Let's discuss. All right, y'all. We're going to Portland for this uh, story. This is some landlord-tenant love, okay? You got this guy, all right? We're going to go over to key players in this particular story. Uh, I'll link the article below. Like I said, I had to read this thing three times before I even figured out what was going on. But this is... The dude who did the stabbing, okay, his name is uh, Philip Nelson, okay? Philip Nelson stabbed two tenants, okay? These people right here. These are the tenants, okay? Uh, these two people are now dead, all right? That is fact. Uh, Philip stabbed them to death. That is also fact. Allegedly, uh, he did it uh, in anger is uh, what the what the state is saying. Um, he and his attorney are saying he did it in self-defense. Uh, so when you, like, kind of peel back the layers of, like, what's going on and try, try to read through this, it's weird. It's confusing. Uh, also, that was him in court. He did not look like that. He looked like that on the day. He looks he looks a little more stabby in that, in that photo, right? I mean, I got a big beard, too, but I feel like I don't look stabby. But he looks pretty stabby. Uh... I really think the real problem here is Portland and how horrible Portland is, right? Uh, I think Portland is the true, the true criminal here. Now, for those of you who are not in the know, uh, Portland is a dirty shithole. Portland is possibly the single worst place on planet Earth. I mean, I would literally fly a helicopter with Kobe Bryant anywhere in the world before I would go to Portland, right? It, it It is bad, man. It is bad. I would become blood brothers with Charlie Sheen before I would go to Portland. Portland sucks the big one, okay? Uh, Portland's bad. All right, so this landlord, Philip Nelson, okay, he creates a lease uh, with the two tenants, okay? Their names, so y'all know the players involved, are Nate Hobbs and Cassie Leeton, Okay. Makes a lease with these folks, handwritten lease, for 1200 bucks. okay? So landlord Phil Nelson leases out an apartment in a fourplex in Portland, the dirtiest shithole in the world, to these two tenants. They pay the deposit. They go to move in. Somebody tells them, I believe it was either a neighbor or another tenant, that Phil Nelson is not actually the landlord. Phil Nelson's not actually the landlord, even though he's the one that leased him the unit, let him into the unit. So these two are now pissed uh, that he's not really the landlord. So they contact the Portland PD, and you guys know how the Portland PD is being treated, right? They can't even do their jobs because, well, it's fucking Portland. Like, I think prosecuting crime is no longer allowed in that dirty hellhole Portland. Uh, they were like, hey, this dude says he's the landlord, but we don't think he's the landlord now. And then Portland PD's like, I don't know. We're not really able to do anything because they took away all our power. Uh, defund the police, motherfucker. This is Portland. So they're like, just don't pay rent. That doesn't seem like the best advice, but that's the advice they were given. I feel like better advice would have been leave. Uh, but they didn't do that. So these two stopped paying rent to Phil Nelson, who is, in fact, now being... Uh, disputed as possibly not the actual landlord, okay? Uh, then uh, he gets mad that they're doing that, so he shuts off their water. And you might be like, wait, how the fuck does he shut off their water if he's not actually the landlord? Well, he goes into the basement. He has all the keys to the property. And he actually turns it off at the main down in the basement, okay? And then he locks the access to that door. So then these two, they get mad. Uh, remember, they were told, hey, don't move out, just fucking stop paying rent. That seems like great advice, but whatever. So then, you know, they then make the next step of awesomeness, and they just grab a circular saw, and they go down into the basement, and they cut open the door 
uh, to the water utility shutoff valves, and they cut that shit open with a fucking circular saw, and then they turn their water back on, okay? Oh, that's, that's where it gets even wilder. Now, real quick, from what I gathered on whether or not Phil Nelson is actually the landlord, turns out Phil Nelson really is not, I mean, I guess you can make the argument he's the landlord, more like a property manager, but he's also kind of a squatter turned into property manager. You see, what it seems like, allegedly, according to what I've done, my, my research in the article and whatnot, reading the article fucking over and over to try to fucking put this piece of Portland horribleness together, Phil Nelson claims to be the landlord, not actually the owner of the property. Owner of the property is an absentee landlord who's just like, Dude, I'm a property owner in Portland. It's a dirty hell. Hole. I can't deal with it. I don't even care anymore. Portland is so terrible. I don't give a shit what happens to my building. And then it appears that Phil Nelson, like, <laughs> moved into his building, started squatting in his building. But while he was squatting in this landlord who's just so beat over, doesn't care anymore, uh, while he was squatting in that guy's building... He started cleaning it up and taking care of the place. And that guy was like, well, fuck it. This squatter's the best squatter of all the squatters. He keeps the quote-unquote riffraff out. So apparently Phil was like the least terrible squatter, I think, (laughs) who cleaned up the building. And the guy's like, fuck it. If you're going to, like, keep some semblance of order at my building, because, dude, this is Portland. What the hell could I do if people don't want to pay rent? I have no rights because Portland's a shithole. I don't even fucking care, bro. Do your thing. Uh, And then so the guy cleans it up and then starts renting out other units to tenants. Uh, Allegedly, the actual owner never authorized him to charge people money, but he kind of like sort of gave him control of the building because he just didn't give a fuck anymore, I guess. So that's where he started claiming he's the landlord. So not technically the owner, allegedly, but claiming he's the landlord because he's kind of like a quasi property manager. Once a squatter became the best squatter of all time. Now he's a quasi-property manager for an absentee landlord who's like, owning a rental property in Portland is so fucking horrible, I don't even care. Okay? And that was before motherfuckers were stabbing each other in his building, and he was already at his breaking point. Dude, that guy, you're going to fucking find a new story about that guy fucking hanging. He's going to fucking noose his ass up how horrible it is out there. So anyway, that's where we're at. So that's how Philip Nelson claims to be the landlord. So there is some truth to his claim. Um, but then also the tenants, Nate Hobbs and Cassie Layton, you can see where there's allegedly truth to their claims as well that he's not really the landlord because he is, but he isn't, right? So then that starts the dispute. And then to my understanding, uh, what ends up happening is they're all in the basement. And uh, he says, you know, according to his camp, they were high as hell on meth. Uh, and they attacked him, and then he stabbed them to death in self-defense with a a homemade knife. Um, According to the prosecution, uh, he lured them down there with the plan and the intent to stab them to death. What is not being disputed, even though everything else is being disputed, who is the landlord, who's not the landlord, what should you do, what shouldn't you do? Uh, The only thing that's not being disputed is those two motherfuckers are dead, and this guy stabbed them to death. Right now, they're trying to figure out if they attacked him and he stabbed them or uh, he just tricked them into being down there and then he stabbed them. That's where we're at. But I think we could all agree this probably wouldn't have happened if Portland wasn't such a dirty fucking shithole and people who own their properties aren't forced to just say, fuck it. Let's let all these fucking savage animals fucking police themselves in there. I don't know what to do. Give me the fuck out of this hellhole. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.